Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have your attention again. Sorry, now, I swear to God, this is the last time I'll bring the whole room to a standstill. Um, some time ago, I was singing at a wedding, uh, not a million miles away from here, and I had a request to sing a song, okay? And I always try to accommodate, particularly if it's the kind of stuff that I do. And uh, I started the music for this song, uh, and I dedicated it to the, to the person in question. And I could tell by the body language of the person that they wanted to actually get up and sing the song. Right? So I said, yeah, okay, no problem. So I brought the guy up, he got up to sing, very well dressed, very dapper, and the man had a fantastic voice, and I stood looking at him going, ah, he's done this before, he's done this a thousand times before. But I got talking to him afterwards, and he said, no, it's only the second time I've ever sung in public, and I couldn't believe it, to be honest. And then he said the strangest thing to me. He said, listen, I have a bit of a gig on later in the year, do you think you'd be interested in singing? And I said, yeah, no problem. So it turns out, ladies and gentlemen, the guy in question, who got up to sing with me at this other wedding is in fact your groom today, it's Paul. All right. So what better way to entertain an audience than to sing at your own wedding? Because no matter what happens, no matter what happens, he's going to be brilliant. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to invite Paul up now. This is completely live, unrehearsed, I swear to God. This, now, unless I know otherwise, this is probably the third time he's ever sung this in front of an audience. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, in a second now. Ready to go this one? Ladies and gentlemen, please make some noise for your groom. Thank you. 